Hi, thanks for clicking in. Rumors about Thaksin's camp trying to strike a deal with the military in case Pua Thai comes to power has surfaced and resurfaced on the inside pages of Thai newspapers since early this year. Today, the issue has made Thai Post front page. Thai Post leaves other newspapers sniffing the dust with its main headlines whooping. Brunei plot revealed. Thaksin militarily collude. If Pua Thai forms government, it will stop attacking the high institution. Thai Post quotes an Asia Times online article written by reporter and analyst Sean Crispin, who quoted a highly placed source as saying that Watana Mugsuk, a minister during Thaksin's regime, met with Defense Minister Prawit Wong Suwan in Brunei in February to sort out a deal that will ensure smooth relations between the military and Thaksin's camp if the latter returns to power. The deal supposedly includes Thaksin not taking revenge against military officials who led the September 2006 coup to bring down his government and those who cracked down on Red Church protesters in April and May last year. The military, for their part, reportedly wants no interference from Thaksin during a military reshuffle and wants him to rein in the Red Church who have allegedly insulted the high institution. The two sides met not once, but several times, and there are times when they even negotiated in Dubai, where Thaksin is in self-imposed exile. Earlier rumors, or shall we say reports, said the fugitive XPM went as far as asking the military to pick its own defense minister if it's not satisfied with the defense minister chosen by Thaksin's camp. Let's see. How the military and Thaksin side will respond to Thai Post's revelation of the deal. We are a mere three days away from a historic poll, and Komchat looks main headlines shout. Opposite fans campaigning hard. Two major parties in boiling election race on home stretch. The report says it was scorching when Opposite was campaigning in Sabut Sarkon's Mahachai district which led to his fainting. Thairat, meanwhile, follows up on yesterday's developments in which Nevin's opin opinion survey show his Pumchai party will win 70 seats and the Democrats will back 180 to form a government. The newspaper's headlines today scream, Chuan Pampers Nevin comes to Nevin's defense over breaking away from Thaksin, Chuan said he actually disapproves of MPs who switch camps and ideology, so he asked Nevin why, and Nevin told him, Thaksin said one thing that changed his outlook about the man, so he decided to defect and side with the Democrats. Chuan refused to elaborate on what exactly Thaksin said that made Nevin turn his back on the fugitive XPM, adding, reporters already know what it is. Now, do you own an iPhone or any expensive gadget? Beware! An alarming crime has made several front page headlines because the victim is none other than respected musician Moose Gaston, known for his Fong Nam Ensemble, devoted to a fusion of Thai and Western music styles and instruments. Thai Rat's headline says, Bruce Gaston lynched six hooligans snatch iPhone. The picture shows Gaston pointing to the spot at BTS Prakanong Station's exit where he was assaulted and robbed. Gaston suffered a broken head, lips and eyebrows and needed 33 stitches. Police found that the iPhone was used the last time at an isolated area in Bangrak where drug addicts hang out. Terrible indeed. That's it folks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.